Today I am going to show how to use HDRIs to light your scene. This scene is lit only by using HDRIs. So let's start by creating a new HDRI. Select background node and use Ctrl plus T. Now open the HDRI you want to use. I will add a link to the HDRI I used in the description below. For this shortcut to work, you have to enable Node Wrangler add-on. Now we can change the rotation on the mapping node. I want the light from the right side so I am going to rotate it till I get that look. This looks pretty good for now. I am liking this lighting because of the bright edge on the objects and also a smooth follow for the shadows. The problem right now is left side is very dark. I only want to use HDRIs to light this scene. So how can we do that? Select mapping and HDRI and use Ctrl plus Shift plus D to copy the nodes. Right now this is the exact copy of the first HDRI. I am going to change the rotation so that the left side has a bit more light. Now we have this node and this node. This is the final values I have used. Now I want to mix these two together. We can use Ctrl plus Shift plus right mouse to mix them together. So now we automatically got a mix node. So what does a mix node do? It helps in mixing both the HDRIs. When it is 1, the first HDRI is completely visible. When it is 0, the second HDRI is completely visible. Other values between 0 and 1 mixes them. But we don't want it to mix actually. What we want to do is to add them. For that we can change mix to add. Now we can control how much we add from the second HDRI to the first. I want the second HDRI to make a blue tint. For that we can duplicate the mix node and put it here. Change from add to color. Choose the color you want. We can control the intensity with fac. This can be any color. It can be green, red, anything. Now I am going to adjust the tint. And this is how we can use the HDRIs to light our scene. Right now I also want this gobos material. You can check out the tutorial I had made to know more about how to make this similar light gobo. This helps in making the light a bit irregular. So what we did is, made the primary HDRI, made the secondary HDRI, added them together, added a blue tint to the second HDRI. And that's how you can use HDRIs only to light your scenes. Subscribe for more and join my newsletter to get free source files. Thanks for watching.